Okay, what is the difference between alpha arbutin and hydroquinone? So the difference between alpha arbutin and hydroquinone is that alpha arbutin is a natural form of hydroquinone. Okay, what is the purpose of using each active? The purpose of using the bleaching agents or uh, skin lightening agents is to uh, even out your skin tone and to get rid of uh, discoloration of your skin. Okay, who would benefit from using these ingredients? Basically, anybody who has any discoloration on their skin would benefit from using these products. What skin types should avoid using alpha arbutin and or hydroquinone? Um, people who have really sensitive skin might not be able to use these products if they're super sensitive, especially to the ingredient. Um, but otherwise, I think anybody could use these products. Can it be used on darker skin patients? <clears throat> what about as a treatment for melasma? This is the gold standard for treating um, pigmentation for melasma or any skin discoloration, and you can use it in all skin types. With these ingredients, you want to use sun protection. And the reason for that is that um, if you're going to take the time to make your skin look even, sun can cause uh, discoloration and it can ruin the results in just a few minutes of sun exposure. If I can't use alpha arbutin or hydroquinone, what are my alternatives? Um, some of the alternatives for bleaching agents or skin lightening agents would include azelaic acid, kojic acid, salicylic acid. Um, so those, are, those are some of the big ones. I've read that if someone is using hydroquinone, then they should pause after a certain amount of time. Could you explain this further? The reason people should pause while using these products is um, because there's a potential for hyperpigmentation to occur. It's called pseudoochronosis. Now in the 30 or 40 years that these products have been around, this has happened in maybe 50 people. So it's a very, very small percentage of people that have this happen. But to take a pause is not a bad idea. But I've been using the product continuously for 20 years and have not had a problem. So I don't discourage people from um, using them continuously unless they start to notice darkening of their skin. Okay, during the pause, what, for, like, what products do they use during the pro pause? Um, if you take a pause, I would use something that has kojic acid or azelaic acid or um, alpha hydroxy acid in it. Okay. it makes and the last thing is, um, you should not use these products if you're pregnant. Is it more effective if you pair it with tretinoin? Yes, it's everything is much more effective if you pair it with tretinoin. And the reason for that is because tretinoin takes off the superficial layer of the skin, allowing the products to penetrate a little bit deeper. So if you do pair these products together, you want to be careful with sun protection. And the reason for that is Retin-A will actually take off the superficial layer of the skin, the stratum corneum, allowing the sun to penetrate deeper, um, maximizing the effects of sun exposure, which can be premature aging or skin cancers. If you are going to use these products, I recommend using sunscreen. And my two favorite sunscreens are Elta MD and Isden.